Miranda, coach just said that you guys were ready for uh, BC to come out with his own look. You obviously took advantage when you, when you saw BC the 2 3, your eyes kind of light up, and obviously you took advantage of six threes in the first half. Yeah, um, I'm just happy I made the shot. Um, you know, T coming off of like 12 assists in this game and Kiki with her four, they did a great job attacking and, you know, finding the open shooters. So, two, three helps. Season high fifty percent as a team today. Um, after like a kind of cold stretch five games, is that kind of monkey off the team's back for you guys? Anyway, wait, it was a season high for field goal percentage for a team. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, it's always good, um, especially at home as well. Got that home court advantage, um, and we have been in the gym a lot more shooting. Coach, after practice, he's been on to us about. <coughs> I'm um, getting in extra shots and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm glad. We're all glad it paid off. Tiana, you had 12 assists today. You only took four shots. How much pride have you taken making an impact on the game without shooting? Yeah, big, um, I take a lot of pride in that. You know, that's my game. Um, obviously, uh, when I feel like I need to score, I try and help the team by scoring this game. I didn't feel like I had to do that. Um, Miranda was on and... Um, you know, Maver in the post, so we we're looking to get it in a bit more. And yeah, I love passing the ball. It's always been something that I enjoy doing. Miranda, was there something different about uh, today's game versus the past you know, five or six games? Where I know either they were slowed by injury or you didn't get the production you wanted. Was it just something about being more assertive this game, or what, what was the difference? Um, I don't know if there's anything different, but I felt like I was more open this game. Um, I felt like Boston College was more focused on you know, defending inside on our post players. So that, I guess that created like the open shot for me, so. And then same question, Tian answered, you know, you guys were uh, a little bit of a shooting slump and I know you guys shoot 60% every game, but just you kind of figured at some point, you get somebody, you're gonna bust out. Is that, is that the attitude that you're shooting was? Yeah, I mean, coming off a loss, we, you know, I guess we kind of just like buckled down and we got, I guess more serious and you know like T said we got in the gym and we're starting to shoot more and um, it's it's getting um, late in the season and you know every loss is you know it's not good so <laughs> so we're trying to win as many as we can so Miranda, after you know all those threes in the first half like you guys had a lot of success slashing inside like can you take me through that game plan like was there anything that changed where you felt, felt there was like lanes opening up and stuff I'm sorry, for the for the shot, for the three? Yeah, What'd like after the threes in the first half, mm -hmm. like you guys had a lot of success like slashing inside, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess they were, after the first half, they were more focused on the shooters, so that created more um, lanes for, for us to drive. So, you know, we took advantage of what they were giving us. Did that open up the middle at all, you know, with the bases? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially with our, our post running the floor in transition, we got a lot of points. Um, just running the floor, so. I guess, Maeva, just could you talk a little bit about the openings that you saw during the game? Um, you talking about the threes for the? No, for just me. like inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, f I don't know. I felt like they were playing behind me. So, and Coach Hugh was always telling me to play the post and post up and seal them. So, that's what I try to do, and yeah, it worked, obviously. But with your first step? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. They may have in the third quarter. It wasn't really that close of a game, but they were making a little bit of a run. Maybe they were doing 15 or 13. You had consecutive blocks. Uh, mm -hmm. It takes through your defensive effort and how you get <coughs> points important to sort of you know, shut them off right there. Um, and two blocks. Well, yeah, I, I had two bucks in a row, but I don't think it's the most important because they scored on uh, number 11, scored 30 points, and we 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 shouldn't be able to give that to someone. So, yeah, blocks are good, but there is something else we have to work on, obviously. Miranda, I talked to you last week about how you were feeling. You listed about like four different body parts that were kind of injured. <laughs> um, after 6'3", 24 points today, how, how are you feeling? I mean, I, my body feels a lot better when I'm hitting shots. So um, I, right now, I'm 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 doing fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> One more question. 
Dion Miranda, obviously, uh, you know, the big challenge of NC State coming to town on Wednesday. How excited do you guys get for those, those top 10 challenges? Ranked teams, obviously, the eighth one you guys see this season. And then, obviously, you know, on top of it, the conference game at home. Either one of you can start. You can start. I'll finish. I'll finish. Strong. Finish what I'm saying. Okay. Um, playing a ring team is always it's always good. Um, I guess we're just focusing on preparing for the next game, but um, you know we're hoping to win these ranked games. Yeah, especially at home. Um, it's always good to play teams at home with our crowd. Actually, today was a we had a really good crowd, and um, even in our warm up, I was surprised people were here with 45 minutes left on the clock. So um, it was great to have people come to our games and I hope that we can get that on Wednesday um as well yeah it's always good to play a ranked team um and show everyone what we can do against them thank you